I guess this would be part two of this regulator install. Um, so, got this installed, but now the regulator is working really well, actually. Don't have a problem with that. But the gun is losing air. So what I found, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera or not. See that that's bubbling right there. And not only is it around that edge, but there's a hole right in the center of that. And there's a burst disc in there. So I ordered the burst disc and that plug. I also ordered a plug to plug that off from Talon Tunes. So we're gonna install that real quick and see if we can get this to stop leaking. So I removed that plug with the uh, burst disc. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and remove this guy as well. Cause we aren't supposed to use that to fill them anymore. Looks like there's a an o-ring there i'm not sure if we're going to, have to put an o-ring in with that plug or what we'll do to get that to be sealed so what i've decided to do is put this little o-ring just right over the center of that so that when it pushes down into the bottle that it'll get a nice seal i'm going to put a little tiny bit of silicone uh, grease on there that one is the 10 by one and a half. And this uh, O-ring kit I just bought on Amazon, just kind of assorted sizes. This will be the first one I've used, so we'll see how well these work. So I've also been having a lot of problems getting this uh, burst disc to seal. So I actually took the size that was the eight by 1.5 and there's kind of even a little groove around there and you can barely see it to the left of my finger there um, so I put an o-ring on that too I don't know that there was really supposed to be one there but I'm frustrated with the leak so we'll try this out well, this is promising so the uh, I don't know if you can see it or not but it's a little bit of rubber that kind of that o-ring didn't really want to go in there, but it's in there. I'm not sure what its condition is, but I filled this up. There's no bubbles there. And then this is the new plug. I put the o-ring in there too. And uh, no bubbles there either. So we filled this guy up to the 200 bar. We'll see if this fixed the leak, but I think it did because it was bubbling before. So if you have one of these and you just installed a regulator and you had to mess around with the burst disc or you want to plug the other fill port that used to exist, that's what I've done. So recap, I, I put a 10 by 1.5 o-ring in on that solid fill plug and these are the, the parts that's the fill plug that's the burst disc I ordered two of each just because I wasn't sure if I'd have luck on the first try or not order these from Talon Tunes and then the other one was the 8 by 1.5 o-ring Hope this is helpful, and I hope that this leak stays gone. There it is again, my Air Force Condor SS and 22. Just fired a few shots through it. Still seems to be not leaking, so I'm excited about that. My next things I'll be doing is uh, shooting it with the factory top hat in there. I do have the 
the tune kit where I can change that size and then I'll be doing the comparisons to what it shot without the regulator. And from there we'll see if there's anything I need to do to help improve its accuracy and tune and we'll try to get this out to let's say 50 yards, 75 yards. I don't think it's going to be nearly as accurate as some of my other air guns at 100 yards but I think 50 yards is where you start seeing accuracy issues if there are any you know, 35 yards 25 yards a lot of times it, all these guns are going to shoot really well at that yardage hope this video has helped and uh, if you have any comments please uh, leave them below how, how did you fix these lick these leaks um did you come to the same conclusion did you use something else did you just give up yeah please leave your comments below thanks for watching